In this module, we talk software. This is the Filmmaker's Boot Camp, and you're at the Indie Lot, where it's film school for the rest of us. We're going to start talking about editing, and uh, we'll be working on our short film, Wrong Number, pulling in that footage and beginning to stitch it all together into a final film. Before we get to talking about that, I want to just do a quick, brief overview on the software that I have and use, and uh, that you're going to want to get as well if you don't already have it. Now, one of the things I've been saying since the beginning of, of this training is that one of my goals is as a filmmaker is to do it as inexpensively as possible. I set out, like I had said at one point, to prove that I could make a film using my, my fourth generation iPod Touch and do a decent job with it. And, you know, since then I've upgraded gear and equipment and have, have invested some money. But everything I've done, I've tried to do it uh, as inexpensively as possible just because I want to make this more relatable to the majority of people out there who have a dream of making films but who think they can't do it because it's it's too expensive. So as we consider this idea of software, which you are going to need software because there is the post, you know, once you get everything filmed and you get all your audio right and all that stuff and it's recorded, okay, you're going to have to put that all together somehow in order to get your final film, and you can't avoid using software to do that. But the three pieces of software that I want to introduce you to uh, in this module uh, are absolutely free. Now, there are paid versions of two of those, two of the three, that give you enhanced features and things like that. Um, but generally, for everything that you're going to do, everything is free. And then there's one program that's completely free and even if you only use that one program you would have everything you need to do all your post processing let me introduce you to these these tools right now i'm going to bring up my browser window here and uh, the first one that i want to highlight for you here is a free tool called hit film express and i i just went on the internet and i typed in the search bar download hit film express and it brought up a link that i clicked on which took me to this page here it looks like they have an installer for the uh hit film on windows as well as one for the mac choose your version download follow all the installation instructions this is hit film express and we'll talk more about these tools here in a moment the other tool uh, or the next tool i want to point you to now you've already seen me using this a little bit in some of the the modules previous but this is blender and uh, you can go to www.blender.org. There is a download here. Now, uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And I'm not sure. Oh, oh, here it goes. Maybe it's going to this by default because it detects them on Windows. I really don't know. But here's the download for the Windows version. But then they have support for Mac OS, Linux, and other, other versions. This is an open source software. It's, uh, a lot of people are involved in the development and maintenance of it. This, let me tell you what, guys, this tool here. Now, some people complain that the interface is difficult to learn and, and move around in. And to some degree, that's true. However, there is such a huge online support community around Blender. And so anything that you would want to learn how to do with Blender, you could find tutorials and people talking about it and giving examples and showing demonstrations. This is a tool that I've used for years. Uh, I first found Blender when I, I was working for the Army and trying to develop uh, interactive training modules. And I actually used Blender to build a 3D game to teach uh, uh, SharePoint. And it was pretty amazing. Now, my graphics and all that stuff suffered a bit, but but just the, the fact that I was able to take this tool and build a 3D, you know, interactive um, third-person shooter type of game uh, was, was really amazing. And so Blender is a 3D modeling tool, game development tool, 
And over the years, uh, incredible wealth of tools built into the software to support everything that you're going to need to do in your film editing. And that's, you know, from video editing to color correction and color grading, compositing, etc. So uh, this, is a, this is a very highly recommended tool. In this module, I'll also highlight some of what I consider to be its weakness and why you might want to use you know, a tool like HitFilm Express for certain tasks. And the next one I'm going to show you here, DaVinci Resolve 15. Again, a completely free version of DaVinci Resolve. This tool is absolutely amazing for video editing and color grading and color correction. And uh, if you go to, uh, it's at www.blackmagicdesign.com or just go and type into the bar, the search bar of your browser, uh, download DaVinci Resolve and you'll find a link uh, to this site here, okay? There is this download button here if you click. Uh, you can see they have a version for the Mac OS, for uh, Windows, for Linux, okay? And they have a free version, and they also, and you can find that, if I go here on their homepage and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can download DaVinci Resolve for free, so there's the free version, which uh, some features will be turned off because they're not paid for, but man, the stuff you can do with the free version is absolutely amazing. It gives you so much uh, and this is well worth getting. They also have a paid version for $299, and uh, it just unlocks features that are locked in the free version. On an older laptop that I had, I was able to run HitFilm Express no problem. I could do whatever I needed to do in HitFilm Express. Uh, I had an old laptop. I don't even remember the specs on it. Um, compared to, to today's laptops, it was uh, w way slower, but... With that computer, I was able to run HitFilm Express. I was definitely able to run Blender with no problem. Rendering and things like that took a while, but, uh, you know, I just got used to that. I didn't know any better. But I was able to uh, make films and animations and all kinds of stuff. In one of the modules passed, I showed a couple of the short films that I made. One was called Loser and the other was called The Sixth Sense. Um, the Sixth Sense I did completely everything all the post production everything was done using blender okay i've not used hitfilm express as much um, but i'll i'll tell you a little bit here in a moment about how i've used it and then this davinci resolve this one i used uh, i did all the post production work for loser using davinci resolve now the thing with davinci resolve this is a much more powerful processing intensive program than the other two i uh, on that older laptop I was able to download, install it, I was able to start it, but when it came to running it and trying to actually use it on that old computer, I just couldn't, I couldn't get it to work, it would just crash. So I finally had to uninstall it and wait for a new day, but I bought this laptop that I use now with a really powerful graphics card, and actually this laptop was touted as being the first desktop in the, inside the body of a laptop. It's an MSI brand a gaming computer, Anyways, this thing, you know, compared to that other laptop I had, th this thing is really powerful. So I was finally able to install DaVinci and actually run it. And it's, in DaVin it's become one of my uh, most used programs now, DaVinci Resolve. If you're on an older computer, slower computer, less powerful, I would say for now, stay away from DaVinci. Try out HitFilm Express and Blender. Uh, and then if you ever upgrade your computer, then I would encourage you to delve into DaVinci. Now you might still even do it now and just see if you can get it running. Maybe you'll have enough uh, to be able to run it because it's definitely well worth it if you can. So that's just a little bit about my experience with these pieces of software. So now let me start showing you. The first one I'm going to go to here is HitFilm Express. All right, so... I'm going to show you the whole load up startups process just so you can kind of get a feel for what you might see when you're when you install it and run these programs. This is HitFilm Express. It's telling me here that there's an update available. I have downloaded the installer already, but I I've not um, I've not installed it yet. I'm going to go ahead and just close this window. Okay, so here I have the ability to create a new project or open an existing one, and then along here these add-on packs. Now, again, HitFilm Express gives you all kinds of things that you can use already just right out of the right out of the download and install. 
free and it's like I said an amazing tool but then as you get going in your filmmaking experience and you you realize some of the other tools you might need that this doesn't support there's a library here of of add-ons that you can actually purchase now you can see these are all these that I'll say buy I've not purchased and I'd probably will not purchase very many because this is not really my go-to program at the moment but I did buy this plugin and this is a, a an image denoiser remember in a past module we talked about how if you're bumping up your ISO on your your cameras that's your camera's sensitivity to light it could cause what's called image noise and it's kind of a grainy look uh, that happens within your your footage and this repair plugin that i bought i use this uh, when i have just really really bad noise that i i just can't live with and i want to try to reduce that i'll bring it here into hitfilm express and use this plugin and it does a great job now davinci also has a plugin or has a feature for denoising but that's only available with the paid version and so i think i picked up this plugin here for 20 to 30 bucks uh, i had some christmas money left over and i just decided to go for it and buy it and and um and it works really well okay i'm gonna open up a project that i already started working on as i've been working on this wrong number post-production stuff because i just want you to see the interface now let, let, let's talk about this for a second this is a video editor a screen anyways okay so i can bring in my footage into what's called a media library my footage and then i can bring um, footage from the media library and drag it out onto the timeline uh, where you actually construct your film okay and here's the footage in my media library which shows up then in this left window so i can scrub through find the pieces of footage that i want to use i can use i and, and o on the keypad i for in and o for out and i can specify you know um, segments of the film that i want to use uh, you know from this clip and then once I've got that specified my my in and out points I can then drag that onto the timeline and only that part of the footage will appear in the timeline so this is, is the video portion of the footage and this is the audio portion of the footage okay and you can see here that you can actually see some visual feedback of, of the audio output and then you know you you bring all your footage in and then you can use this scrubber here to scrub through your your footage and, and start building your movies now let me just say this this interface right here is very very similar to the interface that you will see in davinci resolve there are some differences of course they're not identical but the general workflow is the same you've got this media library you've got a window for previewing your footage and and punching in and out um, to get the specific segments that you want to bring into your timeline over here this is displaying the footage that's actually in the timeline okay and again the same in davinci resolve but remember keep in mind if you're working on an older computer with less processing power this is going to probably be your best solution for video editing so anyways this is basically what hitfilm express looks like and uh, again there's a, a great online community and support so anything you're trying to figure out how to do you can pretty much figure it out lots of tutorials okay and how you can use this to do compositing and special effects i mean this tool supports a whole lot of crazy stuff now this is not a, a module and i'm not even going to cover in this course how to use these programs those are uh, you can just go online and find tutorials for that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to give you a very high-level overview of what I think of these tools and where I think their strengths and weaknesses lie. When it comes to video editing, especially on an older, less powerful computer, I think you're going to want to think HitFilm Express or Blender, but this is going to be a little more uh, intuitive. <laughs>